Okay, folks, welcome to a rather unusual edition of Let's Play Kagero Deception 2. I'm Mysterious JG, and I'm coming to you from the future. Ooh, I'm a ghostly spirit from the future. I've come to warn you of your deeds, Ebenezer Scrooge, so that you will be left alone. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. No, uh, I'll explain why I am from the future in just a moment. <laughs> but right now, let's find out what's going on with Hawk and Gaston. Let's find out what's going on with Hawk and Gaston. Hawk, soldier, male, mentored by Slash and Gaston, precise, loyal, and dedicated. I'm Hawk And Gaston, the crusher, brawny childhood friend of Slash, a bit antisocial. He likes to lock himself away on the weekends, let's playing video games and not talking to people when... Oh, sorry. Okay. No, but uh, yeah, those are the two guys that we're going to kill on this next mission. Which we're going to start in a minute. Okay. Chapter 3, Pursuit of Friends. Why am I from the future, you may ask? This is because I recorded this video and I lost... This is weird. Just the first four minutes of the commentary track. The rest is fine. So I have to redub the first four minutes. Gaston, do you think Slash was really killed? Probably so. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe it. He can't be dead the way I am. Gets Hawk, you know. Get a grip, Hawk. You'll get us both killed, too. Dot, dot, dot. Butter, brush, brush. We are here to avenge Slash, are we not? Let's get it together. So, I got about two more minutes worth of talking to do, and I just have to really hope that my real player doesn't get laggy and weird as it did a minute ago. Oh, and this is the point where I noticed one of them is sitting right on top of me. I started running towards the entrance room, because that's where they were in the cinema sequence. Assuming, hey, I'll go there and try to set traps, but no, the guy's right there. I'm like, oh, shit, 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 shit. You admit to the murder of fellow human slash? I did. Um, yeah. Then you're dead. You're dead beat, bucko. So, what am I going to do here? Let's see, what clever tricks have I got up my sleeve? Or did my past self have up my sleeve? If now my future self would probably try to set up something where he gets electrified in the water, if, if I have that trap yet, and I don't think I do. So instead, uh, I probably just need to get around him and then drop some shit on him on the stairs. Yeah, I don't have anything that's going to, uh, like electrify the water. So I probably at this point am figuring out a way that I can kind of outmaneuver him, get back up the stairs. Or no. Maybe not. What am I doing? I have no idea. I've recorded a few videos since now and I, this came out and I don't remember. Instead of bear trap so I could catch him as he's heading up his... Yeah, Mega Rock I'll definitely drop on the incline of the stairs so they'll fall on him. And that's what that girl whose let's play of this I watched did not seem to get. You have to drop rocks on incline. She just kept dropping them right next to bear traps and then being surprised when they didn't hit but you know otherwise a very good let's play a lot of fun so now I just need to run around stall until the bear trap is ready to work yeah this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get him into the bear trap here and now I can drop a mega rock and shoot a fire arrow you see that he's got a big long stamina meter so this didn't kill him it just knocked him from yellow to green like he was a character and one of them um, final fight games. But oh great, now he's in the room too, but he came from the other direction. You killed my friend! I mean, no, you, you killed my friend. Uh, but I'm gonna try to hit him with stuff, and I managed to do it. Hey, cool. Now I've got them both behind me, so I can run to another room, which is exactly what I needed to get this thing rolling again. But now the uh, live commentary is gonna pick up. Uh, so, farewell from the future. I'll well, see you next time, folks. What can I do with this? Um, it throws them four spaces, right? So let's put a spring floor here, point it that way. That will cause them to land one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's replace the Mega Rock with the oil base, so I have a feeling that there's some kind of combination going here. Alright, now let's turn around so we can get a good look at who we're killing. And how they're dying. 
Come on through the door, buddy. And meet your death. And hit the wrong button. Crap. Hit the wrong button, folks. I launched an oil vase. I totally messed that up. But here's one of the... Well, there's a room that has some goofy stuff going on in it. There's like a big swinging pendulum of death. Um, I can do the same trap set up here uh, that I messed up in the other room. Where is the door? The door is... Now, there's a pendulum that swings across the room, but I've never been good at using those. Let's throw them this way. Let's get an oil vase going. Throw some floor four, so we do one. One, two, three, four, boom. And a nice fire arrow. We just have to have a good view of where he comes in the room and make sure that this time I hit the proper button. And hope that it's ready in time. Oh, good. Alright, how do I get out of this room? I go this way. And here you've got some really great trap combinations that you can set up. In this room we've got, like, a buzzsaw that's set into the floor. Uh, the other LP I watched tried to use that a lot. I find it really difficult to... You, I mean, it's really easy to mess up and get yourself caught in that trap. So I would prefer to go with... Uh, let's see. He's got to come in the room, go down some stairs. There's an electric chair, like, right next to me, although you can't really see it that well. So that we could, uh... Oh, no, that's... Not, that's Okay, it's a wall trap that is the, the press wall. We haven't used this yet, folks, but this will press him into the electric chair. I could also drop a mega rock on him, but let's try to use the press wall. And uh, perhaps we could use a bear trap to make sure that he's held in place for the press wall. And um, just in case his buddy Gaston shows up, we can also put... Well, we could do slow gas on him. I haven't used gas yet. It's slow gas when he enters the room. Which is really good to mess with this poor guy. <laughs> but that's what this game's all about, folks. Alright, so... There's the electric chair, see? Isn't that cool? As soon as he enters the room, and I can't really... S can I... I have no... Okay, well, I can gas him. It doesn't do any damage, but it'll slow him down. And we can watch as he comes down the stairs slowly. You know what? The bear trap will probably kill him. So let's just cut straight to the press wall. I should put him in the electric chair. And he's dead. Very dead. Gaston! Oh, Gaston, am I dying? Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, what a rush. I always buddy it's pretty much going to fall prey to the same exact traps. Except that it might be worth it to drop a Mega Rock on its head first. <laughs> oh, what the hell, it's, uh... Let's change this slow gas to... Mega Rock might kill him outright, but if so, well, you've already seen the electric chair in action, so I won't be robbing you of too much pleasure. It'd be really nice if I could see up those stairs better. He's coming. He might not even might not even have time to Mega Rock him. We'll have to bear trap him. Oh, they hit the wrong button. He got electrocuted instead of being uh. I completely missed him. Is he... Is he coming up behind me yet? I'm right here, buddy. Hello? Are you running away? Seriously? Are you running away from me? He's running away from me, folks. He's trying to escape. It is too late for that, buddy. It is entirely too late for that. I wonder if the spring floor can send him into the, um... Electric chairs here. One, two, three. No, it's going to be too far. Well, there's a buzzsaw like right here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Well, if he. 
No, this ain't gonna work. Put a bear trap at this door here, so that if he tries to escape, he's he's hosed. And then I guess um, a simple fire arrow would finish him off at this point, probably. And if he tries to come back towards me, he's gonna get hit with a mega rock. I don't know where he thinks he's gonna go. He thinks he's gonna escape. That's not gonna happen. It's nothing. Oh, oh. Imagine a lion will hold out the traps. Yeah, he tried to run away from me, folks. I don't know. Like limp, the super slow guy, already super slow, now crippled, trying to limp away. Esther seems to be doing well, doesn't she? Yes, your majesty. Look at my crotch. But why do you look so concerned? Even if she betrays us, she's limited to using traps, as you suggest. Oh man, you mean uh, Aunt Yokel doesn't have her best interests at heart? Not, not, not. What? You all worried about her, are you? I understand. We cannot have our own children because we were hanging around. <laughs> Blast. Made us immortal and killed all my man seed. You think of her as your own child, don't you? No, I'm a time lord. I abandoned such feelings long ago. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Truly, the story of the time noids is tragic, but mission three is clear. A yuck. Once again, perfect genocide and no damage because I rule so freaking hard. But uh, the game is going to get significantly harder, folks. So let's uh, see what the enemy death info was. I think everybody ended up getting burned to death. Oh no, no, we uh, doused Hawk with the vulture. I don't see how he was doused, but uh, Hawk Gaston was speared. S P capital by fire arrow. I really would have preferred a Gaston be killed by a Mega Rock or uh, the vulture, but um, they tried to run away, and I really didn't have a lot of choice. Hawk, on the other hand, pretty sweet death. So let's uh, see what kind of pre-mission stuff we got before we get to the next point where I can save and call this one a video. And I might have to start splitting these missions into two videos because we're already at about 15 minutes and these upcoming missions are way longer. Oh, here we go. This is the castle, Domon. It's rain. RAIN! You watch G-Gun, let me know what I'm talking about. I see! It looks like some sort of TMD retreat! Domon, if it's a retreat, should be deserted right now. Perfect for a TMD ambush! They'll never expect us here! Agreed! Let's designate this castle as a battle <laughs> My love, my anger, and all of us. I'm sorry, <clears throat> like getting a little G gun to me there. But uh, we're not playing G Gundam, folks. We're playing Kagero Deception 2. And it's time for another video to come to an end. We could do a quick visit to the trap, um, the trapperia here, and see what kind of traps we have the potential to make. We can make um, Smash Floor, which throws people eight blocks. That's like that's that's so I don't know, that's probably more distance than I can really work with. That's too involved. Uh but if we get a basin? I don't know what basins are really used for. It causes them to charge you, which can be useful against certain enemies, but I don't think it works against the enemies that are just never going to attack you. We got a wall that forces people four spots away instead of two, which could be useful in some situations, I suppose. Rolling bombs are just a different type of arrow, really. Magnet could be really handy, actually, because you can set a magnet on a wall, and then, uh, nah, for the most part, I prefer to just um, hold people in place. Um, spike rock. To really do damage later in the game, you need to have like some really freaking powerful rocks going, pretty much. So let's see. Basin is a prerequisite for 
VAT. What does VAT do? VAT doesn't have any prerequisites, but what the, heck, what the heck does VAT do that makes it worth getting? And raging victim for hours! <laughs> so it's like, it's a enemy manipulator kind of thing. Evil breath uh, slows the victim and lowers their defense. That could be useful. You need to get a volt rock. You need judgment and iron ball. How do you get judgment? Judgment is like electric trap. It can be really useful in rooms with water. Hellfire. Pillar of fire extends one block, blowing victims five blocks away. I don't really know how to use that. Judgment requires Volt Magnet and Rising Floor. I think I already have Rising Floor, don't I? No, I've got something similar, though. Well, for right, well, Mega Rock leads to Spike. Well, Spike Rock, I can already do. That leads to... You'd need that to get to Iron Ball. And Iron Ball leads to... Bolt rock. So let's just get a spike ball and like call it a day here. Spike rock. We get some spike rocks going so we can drop spike from Cowboy Bebop or the Dudleys or whichever spike you prefer on people. Spike Jones, for example. Drop him on people. Gulp spike rock? Yes. It does a little bit more damage than our current drop from the sky ball not a huge amount. I believe this can roll and hit multiple targets, although I'm usually not quite slick enough to figure out a way to take advantage of that. I mean, at some point, some of these things are really powerful, but you have to be really, really good at the game to use them properly, and I'm just like, you know, not a pro or anything. And the next thing after... Well, yes, I want to carry them over. The next thing after you get... Oh, um, we'll replace our Mega Rock with a Spike Rock. Because there's no point in, like, having two different rocks at your disposal. So the next thing after the spike rock uh, would be iron ball, and you need a basin. Wait, do you need a basin to get iron ball? Ah. We probably don't have enough to get iron ball anyway, but you, you do need a basin to get an iron ball, so let's see if we can make a basin. Yes, we can. We will probably never use the basin, but it's nice to know that you're basically dropping like an empty bathtub on somebody's head. I guess it's not bad. That was not that big, but all right. And there's still stuff that we could get at this point. We now could develop Iron Ball, but we don't have enough. Uh, this bounces off the walls and throws victims. That's getting pretty involved. I don't care about using the Basin though. All right, let's save our game so that if I decide these traps are a horrible waste, I'll be completely screwed. Does that sound like a plan, folks? And then I can end this video. Now there are different plot branches that the story can take. Up to this point, we really haven't hit any. If you, I guess you can let that first guy escape. It doesn't really change the story any. Um, because people go to investigate his attempted murder instead of his murder. And you just don't get as many points. I mean, in theory, two fictional characters get to live together in peace instead of, you know, tragedy. But pff, who cares. So, um... At this point, um, pretty much, there's no enemies that we could let live without screwing ourselves over because they, the enemies so far kill them, they just kill them. And uh, hopefully, we will get there soon enough. So, this has been Mysterious JG. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying, and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, uh, if you're worried about burglars in your home, Mega Rock. Thanks for watching.